Hey folks, uh, you'll notice that on my channel of recent weeks I've been showing you a lot of James Nelligan guitars made by Stug and I've mentioned how I like those guitars so much more than their parent company. Uh, it's usually the other way around, the, the brand that establishes itself usually puts out a budget um, company which is lesser than or uh, slightly inferior to uh, with this, the Stag came out first, mm, guitars are alright, nothing uh, exciting, then the James Nelligan line came out and um, I think have improved upon the original. Similarly, um, you have Samick guitars and Samick have been around a long time and they make a lot of the world's guitars. I mean, they're one of the top, like Court, they are a top maker. Uh, they make not only their own branded guitars but other people's guitars. Uh, and uh, a few years ago they got uh, Greg Bennett, a well-known luthier, to do a line for them. And now we have the Greg, Greg Bennett Samick guitars. Uh, you'll see this Samick logo up there and then Greg Bennett signature there. And I, th I think that Greg Bennett guitars are um, superior to the regular Samick guitars uh, in a similar way that James Nelligan is superior, in my view, to Stag guitars. So. Um, and I've shown uh, a couple of Greg Bennett's before. I'm not, I don't think I've shown this one. Um, this is the GD100 uh, SCE. So we've got um, SCE, that's uh, spruce top, solid spruce top, cutaway, and of course electronics. Where are we? Other side. So we've got a Fishman on this, and this is the really nice uh, Fishman um, SYS system that is on a lot of really good guitars these days. Uh, so it's got a really nice solid spruce top with the Avalonie sound hole, um, rosewood board and bridge. Not really a big fan of the Samick headstock. I think there's a lot better out there, but I'm not a snob. It doesn't bother me that ba that much. Um, and these are nicely made guitars. Uh, uh, nice uh, rosewood bridge on this. Um, it's a mahogany back and side, so it's not rosewood, but it's nice mahogany. Uh, it a, it's a, looks like good quality mahogany. Um, and then I think you've got a bone nut and saddle. Uh, and then the Fishman system uh, that's built in. Uh, of course, you've got the, uh, the jack and the nine bolt over here, which I think is slightly better than having it over here, personally. Um, fully bound, uh, normal appointments, chrome tuners, nice mother of pearl fret markers. It's, it's a really nice, handsome uh, spruce top cutaway dreadnought uh, that sits well in the price. I think these are around $250, $300, um, maybe a bit more even new, but you can find them regularly, I think, for around, I don't know, anywhere from $160 to $200 is a, a pretty normal price range. Uh, I got a couple of these that are new and I did a setup on them. Uh, I want to throw them up on my reverb page. Uh, and again, I just think these are really good value. Um, there's so much to choose from now in the, you know, it's, let's say the, the two to three hundred dollar price range uh, for acoustic electric guitars. But I've noticed that a lot of the cheaper ones have uh, lesser known or off brand electronics like the, the uh, Idlewild Monoprice guitars I showed you uh, a few videos back. Nice uh, uh, electric acoustic dreadnought guitars, but they just put a really bog standard sort of no name um, electronic system or preamp in there. And it's just nice to get a, a you know, a, a Fishman. Not that I'm a brand snob because, um, you know, there are, there are a lot of lesser known electronics preamps that sound just fine. But with these Fishman systems, you always know you're getting decent quality. Uh, and they're really easy to record with. If you like recording through the piezo and not um, uh, miking it with a condenser, uh, I think the Fishman and probably the Shadow Systems are two of the best. I personally, when I'm recording, like to uh, use a condenser and, and record it um, with a mic, although sometimes I do blend the system, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a line in from here, then a mic line, and you get an optimum uh, recording that way. Um, so these guitars, if you can pick up an electric acoustic with a solid top, rosewood um, um, board uh, with a Fishman in it, 
for under, let's say, 250 uh, or around 200, I think you're doing great. Um, and, you know, this, this really fills that market spot really well. I mean, you can get Alvarez, you can get Yamaha, you can get Takamini, uh, you can get some other lesser brand stuff right around that price range. Um, so there's a lot to, uh, to choose from. Um, but I think Samick, particularly these Greg Bennett, Greg Bennett line guitars, um, are a good value for money. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this, and again, it's a very small thing, is I don't know why I just don't like that headstock. Do you? Tell me what you think. I've never liked the Samick headstock. And I know Samick really well, by the way. Um, they're on my CV. Um, somewhere along the line so uh, I, I uh, you know I know quite a bit about them but of course well not of course but that was before they were making these Greg Bennett guitars so I think they've really improved uh, and kicked on since then so anyway here's another uh, interesting electric acoustic guitar solid top this is the GD 100 uh, C uh, S C E N N for natural because they do make a uh, um, they do make a sunburst one of these, which I may have shown you on another video. But anyway, here's a nice reminder of a guitar. If you're looking for a, a good solid top electric acoustic, um, this one really does the job. And again, I did very little setup on this. Um, I had to straighten the neck a little bit because it was a little bit, um, the, the relief was a bit too much, uh, but that's all it needed. I didn't really have to do much with the frets because you've got this binding here. Uh, it hasn't been an issue so far. So uh, a really good guitar made by uh, Samick, the Greg Bennett line. Um, all right, see you next time. Settle down, doggy.